welcome to our video today. The channel is Insecure Talks. Today we are going to talk about something very sensitive. Kindly, if you have not subscribed to our channel, I welcome you to subscribe. Today we are going to talk about a very sensitive topic. Sit, sit back and watch, guys. Welcome. <music> And to be mindful of what you insert into your body and to always use safe and appropriate methods. Inserting certain items into the vagina can cause injury, infection or other serious health problems. So it is important to only use products that are designed for use in the vaginal area such as uh, tampons, uh, menstrual cups and to always follow the manufacturer's, uh, the manufacturer's instructions for use. So it is also important to avoid using any products or substances that are intended for internal use uh, or that could be harmful to your health. If you have any concerns or questions about vaginal health or, or hygiene, it is important to consult your healthcare provider always, guys. list of things you should avoid, guys, on uh, inserting to your vagina. So it is important to avoid inserting certain things into your vagina as they cause injury, infection, or other health problems. Here are the, some of the things which uh, we really need to avoid. Number one is about douches or douching. This can disrupt the natural balance of the bacteria in the vagina. Douching actually uh, disturbs the normal pH or the normal bacteria in the vagina. So leading to the infection or the irritation of the, of the vagina. So the normal, like uh, what you call the lactobacillus bacteria, which is the normal flora of the vagina, is disturbed through this dodging. So dodging is really discouraged in, uh, in, in the clinic or the, that, uh, in, the, in the vagina. So because it kills the normal bacteria and also changes the, the normal pH of the vagina, so kindly it is highly... Uh, not recommended. Another number two thing which you should avoid in searching to your vagina is about the scented product products. By scented products we are talking about uh, things like scented tampons, like we have also scented parts, we also have other products that cause irritations or allergic reactions. So uh, as much as possible let us avoid those scented products including the tampons and also the parts which the ladies use for the periods so that should be highly discouraged uh, in use also uh, another very important aspect which should be really be avoided is about sex toys and also those sex to toys without proper cleaning if you use a sex toy it is important to clean them properly before and after use to prevent the spread of bacteria or infection but actually, because of the vaginal hygiene and also the other complications, the sex toys are really, really discouraged because of the what they can introduce to the vagina and also to the reproductive system of the, of the lady. Also, uh, food should be really avoided. Avoid inserting food items into your vagina as they cause irritation, infection, and the other infections. So no food can be put on your vagina there avoid as much as possible to put in food products there and also sharp objects do not insert sharp objects or pointed objects into your vagina as they can cause injury and at some extent also cause perforation where now you may get an injury to your also to your anal area so as much as avoid sharp objects into your vagina also uh, hair removal creams should also be avoided as much as possible to be inserted into the vagina. So there are special creams which one uses to shave in the pubic area. So as much as possible, avoid them entering into the vaginal area. Because these creams are also, uh, they can cause irritation or a chemical burns. So somebody can have burns in the vaginal area. Also, uh, we have medications, uh, medications which are not prescribed by a doctor. So do not insert uh, medications into your vagina without the advice and guidance of the healthcare provider. We have special antibiotics which are inserted through the vagina, yes, we know. And uh, there is a special way and also the manufacturer's instructions on how to use them. 
But we have had a lot of uh, theories and also people training people on uh, people on the vaginal tightening drugs or so vaginal tightening herbs which you, you are inserted into the vagina to make the maybe make the vagina tighter or to get some infection out and those are uh, some of the heresies which are there so be careful on putting medications into your vagina which are not uh, really prescribed by that uh, gynecologist or that healthcare provider so it is always best to consult with the healthcare co provider if you have any concerns about the healthy and also the gene of your of your of your vagina so uh, sometimes we we'll get to develop complications from the insertion of those uh, products into our vagina one of the complications which one can develop is about the infections when foreign objects are inserted, inserted into the vagina, they can disrupt the natural balance of bacteria and increase the risk of infection such as bacterial vaginosis or also yeast infection. So with those kind of introduction of uh, objects into your vagina, you are prone to infections, including the bacterial vaginosis and also the yeast infections which cannot be uh, treated easily. Another problem which can come as a complication of inserting those things is about irritation or inflammation of the vagina. So inserting certain products or substances such as doches, scented products or hair removal creams can, can cause irritation or inflammation of the vaginal tissue. So it can, you, you get some, somebody's vulva or the outside of the vagina is really inflamed and inside because of such kind of chemical irritations and also the substances inserted so another uh, complication which can come about is about injury or perforation sharp or pointed objects can cause injury or perforations of the vaginal walls or cervix which really which can cause uh, pain can cause bleeding and other serious complications so injury and perforations and perforation can be very serious and now uh, one even needs to get into uh, theater to get repaired over the same. Another complication is what you call toxic shock syndrome or TSS. Uh, is a very rare but serious condition that can occur when certain types of bacteria uh, produce toxins into the body. So TSS can be caused by leaving tampons or other vaginal products um, in for too long. So one of the complications of uh, those products which are inserted into the vagina is about the TSS and this can be very, very serious. And another complication which can come about is about the allergic reactions. Some people may have allergic reaction to certain materials or substances that are inserted into the vagina, such as the latex, which can be inserted into the vagina or certain chemicals. So as much as possible, uh, this can be a very serious complication of the allergic reaction. So it is very important to also take note of that. So it is important, guys, to seek medical attention if you have an experience of uh, or symptoms of vaginal discomfort, or if you suspect that something may be lodged inside your vagina. Your healthcare provider can help diagnose and treat any complications that may arise from vaginal uh, insertions. And in case uh, maybe through some reason, maybe somebody was using a chemical to to to, to maybe to take care of the pubic hair in the, in the vaginal area and uh, maybe you get a reaction, it's good to get it to the hospital immediately and also get help there. If one was using a sex toy and it is really, maybe it doesn't come out, it remains lodged inside, it is good to get a doctor or a healthcare provider to help you get it out instead of you struggling with it because at some point you may cause what you call perforation and also cause some other injuries which can be very detrimental at a certain point. So guys, I want to welcome you to the next one, uh, vaginal, vaginal care, and uh, those are the things which you should uh, avoid in searching into your, into your vagina because it is very important and it's, uh, it also protects the, it is the iterators. It is where uh, most of the things get into your produ reproductive system. So that's why vagina is very important. Guys, I want to wish you a very good uh, time and also for the for the for the for the what you've been learning the channel is future talks and if you have not subscribed guys kindly click that button and also share it widely 
our channel is growing in a very big way and also dm what you want us to share in this channel kindly i want to welcome you to the next one thank you guys and be blessed <clears throat>